Resident Evil Zero. HD remaster. Ah! Well, here comes the church scenario. I actually really like this part of the game, though. Still, though. It was a dark and stormy night. Billy and Rebecca, dressed as a cheerleader, decided that they wanted to go and investigate such a church on the outskirts of this train facility, which is, might as well be called a mansion, because that's exactly what it is. Actually, is there anything inside here? Let me take a solid look. Well, that unlocked a door. That did nothing. That did nothing. This did nothing. Okay. Seeing what's back here first. Always gonna be wary. It's locked from the other side. Well, that's a shame. It doesn't seem to be gaining any power. <clears throat> now, the one who's mostly loaded with everything is Billy, though Rebecca's got a little bit, and she's got the healing items. Okay, this is gonna be kind of tricky. Can I Let's split up. Okay. send Rebecca on out? Can Rebecca stay on top of this? Or is she not heavy enough to lift it or weigh it down? Okay, she's heavy enough. That's good. Let's go in, Billy. Hopefully, he doesn't die. <laughs> I'm starting to regret my decision more and more that I haven't used an ink for a bit in a while. But I know there's a save typewriter over here. Now, if only, if only, ooh, that looks nice. Uh, <clears throat> we can enjoy Billy's prayer to the Lord Jesus. Who is that? Be I guess it's Jesus with Mother Mary with who behind it. There's an altar here. Despite its aura of divinity, you can't help but sense something ominous about it. Well, I mean, who's the red-robed person behind the other people, and why does the baby look a little bit freaky, and, you know, never mind. All so many questions. We're probably not going to get answers on that one, at the very least. Now, I know what this room is, and I am hoping to God... <laughs> yeah, because we're inside church. Uh, for good old ink ribbons. Oh, go, okay, there's ink ribbons. That makes my worries, I guess, good. We're fine. Let's pick up some shotgun shells. Okay. I can drop shotgun shells for a second. I just pick them up, just look at them, and then to leave them on the ground. I leave my shotgun shells lying all around the floor so my children can pick it up and load right it up into that shotgun. I'm not going to go into the dark humor with that one much further. There's a fucking ink ribbon, which I'm very grateful for because I really do need to save my game. Please, oh merciful, let me save my game here. I'm an atheist, I'm having fun with the religious puns. What does that say back there? ACG or Aketa? Apparat? I don't know what that's supposed to say. There's a typewriter. Record the data? Sure. Let me save that game. You know what? I'm gonna save on the second slot finally. In case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Okay. In the good old church. Let me drop off some ink ribbons in the meantime. Ah, pick up the good old shotgun shells. Equip a goddamn shotgun because this next part's gonna probably be fun. I say through gritted teeth. We got this. Hopefully. <laughs> Time for hell. Come get some of your fucking Dracula. Ah, God dang the fucking bats. I almost shot him. Oh, Leather Wings. Fuck it. There you go. He's, he can be fun. And now smaller bats join the army. 
Because life loves me. God fucking bats. I'm probably going to die at least once. I'll come back. Rebecca, have you had a good time standing there with a puzzled look on your face? Uh, actually, you know what? Billy needs to drop something. Billy will get the hook shot in a second. Leave that there. I need to ask Rebecca for an exchange. Give me your goddamn herbs. <laughs> That's all I can say to that. Okay. Thanks, Rebecca. This way. Roger. Let's split up. Roger. You just stay there and press the button so I can get back inside. Okay. Now so fucking Batzella in there is having a good time and continue to shoot him up with a shotgun. Because that's what we have in hand. Well, this looks fun already. Combine this with my other favorite shotgun things and let's start shooting! Wanna try okay, never mind. So that was a shotgun literally to the face there. As long as I can keep on shooting the big one, that's all that's all that matters. I think the big one's either really damaged or it just wants to cry a lot. Because every single night it just lives here in the church, waiting one day for a holy light to grasp upon it and take it into the holy water there we go I'm just really oh I need to reload okay I will not reload I'm actually already reloaded okay thank you hurt animation got it I can live with that die devil bird. Basically my feelings on the matter. <clears throat> and oh my community. That's all I can say to the chat at the moment in the stream chat. Anyways. Can I tell Rebecca to come back here? Rebecca! Okay. That's, it looks like you could use something to get up there. Yeah. I know. I'm aware. I'm ready for it. I came prepared. Rebecca, guess what? Two things. Thing number one, I can give. No, not what I meant to do. I can give you your herb back. Exchange there. Thing number two, I need the hook shot. Yes. And thing number three, stream chat. It's time to sign Billy and Rebecca's costumes again, because we'd be another boss thing. Yeah. Okay. I guess this would be the best angle to switch costumes. So, we're going to switch off their costumes again. Ah, uh, let me see. Rebecca's stuff didn't... Let me switch this up. Switch, use. The t-shirts, I need to close and open the game. They'll be installed. But for the moment, do you guys want Rebecca's main costume? Cheerleader costume? Western costume? Or leather costume to go forward with? Stars, cheerleader, western, leather. Stars, cheerleader, western, leather. And I'll wait to see which opinion goes. I vote for leather. Oh my. Give it a second. I could put it into a poll, but I'm going to be lazy. Haruka's answer may be the only one we had a few more earlier, but okay, Leather did win when the last time we were holding the votes, though some people just might be a little bit phased out at the moment. Someone is answering Leather. Leather? Okay, well that makes three votes. Ranks is going to vote for Cheerleader, but Leather works on there. Now Billy time. So, for Billy's costume, switch, use. Would you guys vote for prisoner, jacket, or wolf? Prisoner, 
Jacket Wolf. Prisoner Jacket Wolf. I'll say it one more time. Prisoner Jacket Wolf. It is what it is, what it is. I'll vote for Jacket. I vote for Jacket. And oh my. Okay, the cool pair. <laughs> I don't remember if the door needs to be reopened or not. Okay, the door's open, so we're fine. Well, time to say to Rebecca, see you later, alligator. Use this right here in the hook shot. And thus, on top of, I wanted to serve, this looks like a perfect place to take a good old screenshot if I can get the light flashes at the right second. Taking so many screenshots just to get the perfect, oh well, that's probably fine. Anyways, I'm gonna go down this ladder. <laughs> the angles. Let's go on down. Climb down the ladder? Yes. Well, time to the old dusty trail. A scene, or a scenic view of the lake can be seen from the cliff. You don't say. Is this anything about here? Doesn't really look like it. Nope. No, actually, it is something. The circuit breaker appears to be supplying power to the elevator. Lift the handle? Yes. And thus, power's been restored. There's also a red herb here. Do I have any inventory slots? No, I do not. The door is now unlocked. Works for me. Now, please don't let there be a bajillion zombies outside the door as soon as I open that up. I just fought a giant bat boss. This is fine. Actually, you know, I could save my game again. Yeah, you know, fine. There's an ink ribbon in here. Rebecca should go back, and we should mess around to let this one work out. Let's do this, Rebecca. You've got the right attitude. We have two ink ribbons in here. We might as well use them because they're away from my main ink ribbon collection. So, yeah, I... Before things go very solidly one direction or the other, I'm going to pick up the sink ribbon. That's good. And let's save again. I will, in fact, record the data. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm making... Yeah, that's fine, actually. Let's save over it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine. Rebecca's time to go back. I'm hopeful. At the moment, the church is not done. The church isn't just this small little building. Of course, a fucking Resident Evil church has some secret underground element to it. Who would really be surprised by that? The answer is not Umbrella. Thankfully, there's no zombies over here. For some reason, I thought there would be, but I'm happy there isn't. This way. Okay. I also want to pick up the red herb because we are perfectly in the neighborhood for it, and it's just right there. Red herbs are never bad to pass up on, or they're bad to. Never mind. Let's take this and combine our herbs. I also guess I can drop this here. Leave this just because. Actually, no, I'll hold on to it till I need to drop it for something else. Never bad to have an extra save on hand in case I can't find like an ink ribbon down here or something. Now let's take the elevator. Going down. Yep, down we go. 
Here we are. Now, next guess on what might be through this door. If your answer was secret underground laboratory type area underneath the church, you'd probably be correct. You can see a set of stairs lean up, but they've collapsed and can be used as the church is in a major state of disrepair. Also, there's something written there. Can I read it? Negatory, Captain. Well, I did find a door to interact with. The bookshelf lies in total disarray. Someone was evidently looking for something here. Gotta be cautious. The shelf is full of biology books. Ooh. Speaking of, well, we just gotta save thing. I'll let Rebecca pick these up, though. Yes. A simple elevator chute for transporting items. It appears to be connected to the operating room. Send something to the operating room? Not immediately. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's cross the other side then. Oh, there's a note here. I want to read the note. Marcus's Diary 2. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I closed my babies up in a special capsule. But it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way such as lackeys could figure out how to make it. So we need a stripping agent. And I remember from our document here... I also like how he says his lackeys can't figure it out, even though they're all supposed to be scientists. First investigation unit notes. So stripping agent is green plus red. So I need to find red to make the stripping agent. Got it. Uh, so how, how close are we in terms of files to things to be picked up? Because uh, the files kind of go in a straight area here. Okay, we still need to pick up the whole second page of files there. There is a dead man here. I'm a little bit concerned about that. There's a bookshelf. That's gotta speak for something. Oh. Is it grappling hook time? Grappling hook! I feel like this was the last use of the grappling hook, so I'm going to put it down. Leave this here. Okay. Wish me luck. There's a computer here. It doesn't turn on when you press the power button. I remember what's about to happen, which makes this worse, I think. The shelf contains a large number of chemicals. Labels are so dirty that you can't tell what's inside. A collection of leech samples. Press the button. Yes. One of the capsules is glowing. Take the leech capsule. Yes. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh, there's a map right there. Ah, oh, but the map would be useful. I have to go back for it. Yeah, there's no question about it. I, I need to go back for the map. Give me the map, please. Okay, laboratory map obtained. It's going back. That's fine. That could have gone a lot worse, is all I'm going to say. There's a button. Press it. Not yet. Maybe, actually. 
the note I just picked up mentioned that the capsule could only be opened with stripping agent. To open the capsule, a special stripping agent is necessary. Of course, Rebecca is the one that has to use a stripping agent. So maybe I should send this over to her. I don't know, at the very least, let me continue exploring. There are multitudes of doors here. This one is locked, though. How about you? Hmm. The feeling of being very cautious. Let's explore a bit deeper, though. It's locked. You can't open it. That's a shame. It looks too high to jump down. That's probably a good idea. They're sure giving me a lot to combine these things. Okay, sure, I'll make some Molotov cocktails. I might as well. They're in the neighborhood. I'll save that because Rebecca's the one holding all the saving stuff at the moment. Alright, I can't. Okay, I have to put something down for a second. What should I put down so I can carry this just to combine these? I will leave the goddamn this thing here. I'll take the gas tank and I will combine these two. Okay, and I'll also leave this here because I don't need it immediately. But I'll keep it here in case it comes in use. And you're the capsule, right? Yeah, this is definitely the capsule. Not the Molotov cocktail, you turned the wrong way. It's this I want. There we go. Yep, the leech capsule. I need a stripping agent to be able to use it, but the only one that can make stripping agent is Rebecca. And Rebecca's obviously not here with me right now, so this is gonna be tricky. I need to get her with me. I feel like I also shouldn't be carrying a shotgun around. Like maybe if, as if a zombie comes out of nowhere, it'd be better if I use a handgun and save my shotgun shells for later, but whatever, I guess. Yeah, we're not we're not doing this immediately. I'll wait for Rebecca. <clears throat> Back through here. Oh, this is the other side of that machine. Send something to the reference room? Not Oh interacting with that book, the dead. It's been pretty loud. Now, because I don't have enough bullets to deal with another zombie, I'm guessing I have to shotgun this next one up. I'll shotgun him once, and the rest of it I'll take with handgun bullets. Oh, bad timing on my part, though. Okay, that's fine. Works for me. He's dead. Alright, equip this then. And thus, the two zombies in this room were obliterated. The shelf is lined with a number of poisonous looking chemicals. All the labels have been ripped off. That seems dangerous. To rip off all the labels off poisonous looking chemicals. The shelf is lined with a variety of different chemicals. They look like they're used for surgery. This operating table has been overturned. It looks like it happened recently. I will take the first aid spray. Well, nothing venture, nothing gained, as they say. What is this? It needs the leech. This door is decorated with a bust of Marcus. There's a space in the base for some kind of object, and that rhymed. Ah, oh, Rebecca. Looks like some kind of chemical. You'll need a container to carry it. The sink is old and rusty. It's also covered in filth. And we can't make enough fun of it, apparently. There's also a note here, which I will now read. 
Investigators report. Dr. Marcus, co-founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The result of his research has been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason became clear here at the train facility run by Dr. Marcus. Well, not exactly. But underground, when we ventured below, we understood. There we found the evidence of Dr. Marcus's research into the T-virus prototype called Progenitor, the evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become of subjects, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation secrets safe. When the doctor is, where the doctor is now, I don't know. But considering the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes, his experiments lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things are fruit are the fruit of his research. They fill this facility. The rest of this notebook and the pages are missing. There is some kind of mysterious thing on the operating table. Well, I know what I need to do, but I won't like it. it looks like some kind of chemical. You'll need a container to carry it. Yeah. Okay, I'm really not gonna like this. Leave this here, and leave this here. I'll leave this here. I can probably pick up the shotgun shells again. Rebecca's not gonna need them. Now here's hoping I don't die as I do this suicide run that I'm about to do in a second. And there's a point to the suicide run, but it's an annoying point. I really hope this works. If it doesn't work, then I am kind of boned. I could explore this room, but I feel like this may, in fact, work, though it's not going to be easy. <clears throat> Let's... I am severely, severely hoping this works. Press it? Yes. Don't mind me, leech man. I shouldn't have done that yet. Okay. God fucking damn it. Ah, wiggle the stick. Wiggle the stick like I've never wiggled before. I need to pick this back up. Oh, there's a note here I didn't pick up either previously. Take the hook shot. This may kill me, and I might have to go back a little bit, but if I do, it's my own fault. Okay, you know what? Screw the file. I'll come back here later. There is no safety in this world. I don't even know where that one is, but I don't want to find out where it is either. Ugh, life is hard. Now, if this doesn't work, I feel really, really dumb. Now, please tell me this isn't too big to send the hookshot over. God fucking! Ah, oh, that was a waste then. I hoped. But my hope didn't come to pass. Actually, there's something which I can do, though, isn't there? Okay, I'm gonna send the leech capsule. Never mind, I just wasted health to make something which didn't even work, work. Let's leave the hookshot here. Now what do I want to send over? I guess the leech sample makes the most sense. Ah, first aid kit, spray. Oh, there it is. The capsule I was looking for. There we go. I don't really have much choice but to send it over at this point. Use? Alright, it needs to first ask me if I want to send something over. I will send over this capsule leech. Hopefully it comes of use. switch over to Rebecca, who's just been weighing here the whole time.
I will get the leech, because it might be important. Though the chemicals are upstairs, so I don't know what I'm really supposed to do about that, but I'll figure something out, hopefully. I will also save my game right here, because I can. I'll make a new save file in case this turns out completely terribly. There we go. Okay. Now I need to be a little bit cautious because there's probably a leech man down here wandering around over some new opened up passageway. Which I don't even know where it is. Oh. Oh, hi! Immediately. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put in your mixing set? Yes, the green chemical is already in your mixing set. Add the chemical? Yes, the red chemical and green chemicals have been mixed into a stripping agent. Got exactly what I needed. That's good to know. There's a device for entering a combination, but it's missing a part and can't be used. Cool. Uh-oh. The door is decorated with a bust of Marcus. There's a space in the base for some kind of object. Uh-oh. 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 Time to say screw you, science, and go over this way. Well, I kind of got what I needed. Kind of. Actually, can I just combine this with that? It really doesn't work like that. Oh, wait, I know why that doesn't work. My, that's my costume case. Uh, let's combine that with this. There we go, blue leech. Examine. Uh, let me see, which one does Billy need? Like, what's on Billy's side? Is this the green or blue leech? I remember there's two different colors. This is... I think that's green? No, actually, that might be blue. I think that's blue. It, no, it kind of looks... I don't know, I'll try it. Science. Rebecca is here. Hi, she's Rebecca. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I'm going to send over the blue leech, and if it doesn't work for her, then it's obviously on her side. And let's send this over. It looks green when you're not looking at it. When you look at it, it looks blue. And I'm like, oh. Like here. I'll take it, though. I will take the blue leech charm, because I can. Mm. Well, let's use this. Maybe. I think it's green. That's OK. I, I can try it anyway. Try it. Nothing happens. Maybe you're using the wrong key. Yep, that's the, that's the spirit. The door is kind of blue, but looks green when you're out of it. huh? The actual panel is green, though, so that's what you have to pay attention to, not the door. I'll remember that. Pass the blue pendant back over. At least I know where it goes now. Give it off to Rebecca. She can take care of it. Now on Rebecca's side, I'll take it. Okay, I'm kind of worried about the leech itself, but I think we might be okay, maybe, hopefully. If I can dart past it, then I'll be fine. <laughs> That's the spirit. We'll see how this goes very, very quickly, though. It could go wrong very, very quickly. Yeah, speaking about going wrong very, very quickly. No siree, Captain. Use this here. I'll go on back just for a second, though. I really want that green and red herb. I guess I'll have to go back for it. Well, let's see where Rebecca is at the moment. A large painting hangs on the wall. The towel reads, Woman in Love with a Dead Man. Huh. 
The sign's shiny over there, obviously. I'll look at it. Take the input reg coil. Sure. There's something else here. Ah. Fancy pictures. There's something written on the back of the paragraph. To, uh, to James, to commemorate your gra or graduation in 1939. <gasps> that guy must be Marcus's son. Or grandson. Yeah, I... Oh, handgun bullets. That's never a bad thing. I will take handgun bullets. Let's investigate a little bit closer around here. It's an unlit fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been used for some time. Wonder if lying it would do anything. Mysterious objects are flowing in the water. So they're not fish? I'm take it then? Okay. Well, going through the door. And behind this door we find... Ooh, this doesn't look like a good room. Oh, speaking of which... I'm gonna try and not waste ammo here, if at all possible. Despite a few cracks, this pot looks like a valuable work of art. Actually, you know what? Before I go through this room... I wanna pick up that green and red herb. I'm gonna fucking dare the leech and see if I can get away with the nab off the two herbs. Before I get too far away, that going back for them is inconvenient. Passing up a healing item seems like a dumb idea. Leave this here, even though I might use a healing item to get a healing item. Oh, well, whatever. <clears throat> Here's hoping this goes okay. If it doesn't go okay, I'll, I saved not that long ago, so I'll be fine. Oh, hey, I, <laughs> the animation saved me. Right, because you have an animation frame. Oh, never mind, didn't save me completely. If I die, I die is what I'm set for on this. <laughs> it's having a hard time trying to get at me. Fortunately, I'm about to probably get hit and get killed by it. Oh, well, not killed, but very damaged. At least I nabbed off with those herbs like a bandit. And I wasn't on full health anyway, so I'll get more health than I sacrifice to get these. I'm already, yep, I'm probably on danger, I was about to say. <sighs> I should probably heal. Live life on the edge. If I die, not too much lost yet, because I'd just be able to go back to where I just was, just with, you know. I can redo that segment without getting hit to hopefully get the good old herbs. So if I die and get grabbed by the zombie, no, that's my plot. Oh, do I have to go back anyway? A variety of expensive looking art supplies. For some reason, just looking at them sends a chill up your spine. I don't actually need to kill you. Despite a few cracks, this pot looks valuable. Work of art. Oh, there's a uh, shiny. It's probably the other leech. Yep, it's the other leech. Okay, so I could have just gone back and got it. Well, now I know. Uh oh. <coughs> Green charm obtained. Reload my ammo. Now, I'm going to take a serious risk here. This is all or nothing deal. I'm going to run through here, and if I get hit by the leech and killed by it, I'll just redo this part again. It's only like two rooms I have to redo. But otherwise, we'll go forward if I get through here without getting hit, basically. It's a gamble, but not a very hard gamble. <laughs> Gets hit immediately. But that's okay, because here's my plot here. Literally, we had a save point right before this. I just wasted some time, so it took a little bit longer. I'll, I'll be back to where I was in like a minute. Resident and hopefully this time, Zero. I won't waste myself to death, and I'll be able to pick up the items and everything A-OK. -okay. Yeah, because we saved right before we had just gone through there and picked up the book or whatever. Continue. You're entering an insane world. Okay. We're just back here, basically. I'll leave my ink ribbons. Now that I know what's going to happen to them. I also know where the red agent is and all that, so I can just do this pretty quickly. Let me dart on in, dart on out, hopefully do the magic, and if I can do this all really quickly, that'd be very much appreciated to me, myself, and I.
Okay, take the red agent. Now, combine this and that. Oh, right. I have to do the switch again. Switch. Combine this with this to make that. Now pick up the green herb as this thing gets turned around. Now pick up the red herb as this thing gets turned around. Now go up to this thing and put in the blue leech. And I'm gonna make off like a bandit. See? Went a lot better this time. Now take these two things. Combine that with this, and there you go, I got few good old full heals. Take that I'm here, which is whatever coil this is for. There's something else here. A book. Rebecca starts to contemplate. Wow, that must be Marcus's grandson. Da, 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 da. Okay. And there is some ammo in here, which I'm going to go pick up for myself as well. Ammo is never a bad thing to have too much of. Though I don't have too much of it. But I'm getting a bit more, which is good. Now we're going to zip on around and go this way. <clears throat> Zombie was just a little bit surprised. Green leech I obtain. And back on out. Did I not pick up the leech? Why did the other zombie not wake up? Or did I really just go in and out that flawlessly? Wow. That went flawlessly. Now I just have to avoid the leech on the way back. It won't kill me, but it'd be better if I didn't take a lot of damage from it either. So, you know. Win some, lose some, try and live through some. Well, that went pretty well, actually. I'm happy I reloaded my save. I thought it might go pretty well if I did it again. If leech being could go through doors, that'd be fun. But leeches don't understand what doors are. <sighs> yep, send something through here. I will send the green leech. I hope this goes okay. Okay. Now switch perspectives, and then Billy's just been waiting around here for a while. He gets the green leech. Yes, green leech, I'll take it. Nice watching it close again. You know, I figured it would close there. And that's where I left the hook shot. Obviously, that zombie's gonna stand up eventually, but for the moment, green thing. And that opens this door. The lock has been released. That's the spirit. Now the question is what I'll find inside. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of this. I really don't like the sound of this. Those containers look like they are used to store dead bodies. A strange smell emits from inside. I don't really... If there's a morgue and a fucking zombie game, what else are you going to expect? Okay, actually that's about what I expected. Just thought that might be easier. Am I on dangerous health? Not yet, but I will be soon. Thankfully, I've got. Okay, my shadow fucking scared me. Fucking A. Because I was like, is there going to be like a leech man or something hidden behind the corner? And then the shadow dart, I was like, oh, but no, it's just my shadow. These cares look like they are used to store dead bodies. A strange smell emits from inside. You think the smell might be dead bodies? What is this, gasoline? Oh, it's the sterilizing agent. Okay, that's probably a puzzle item. It's a corpse in a body bag. You get the feeling it was just stuffed in there. Well, probably wasn't just stuffed in there, but you know. I like how the zombie's body, even though it's headless, is still twitching. Okay, I think that's what we needed. Probably. Ugh. Is this thing going to get up now? I really heavily expected it to. Here's hoping. 
I have a bad feeling about this. But I think I need to do something in here where all the zombies are laying about. They're not awake yet. It's been replenished with fresh bioorganic fluid. The surrounding equipment is running. I should probably think about saving pretty soon. There's a note over there. I'll read it. Leech Growth Records. February 3rd, 1978. Administered tea into four leeches. Their will to survive leads them to paratism or paratism and predation. Or predation, I guess, predation. Then they breed and multiply. Such single minded biology makes them an attractive candidate for bioweapon research. Afterwards, no major change is observed. February 10th, 1978. Seven days since administration of tea, rapid growth to double former size, signs of transformation emerging, spawning successful. They double their numbers in one hour, but their ravenous appetites lead them to cannibalism. Hastened or hastened or hastened, yep, to increase food supply, but lost two. March 7th, 1978. This is a puzzle. Red times two is eight. Green, blue. Or two blue by half, so that's one, which would be eight. Provide them with live feet, but lost half the the live foods fought back. Or provide them with live feet, but lost half when live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from experiences and are beginning to exhibit group attack behavior. They are also seizing cannibalism. Their evolution is exceedingly exp you know what? I bet this is for that combination. So it'd be one eight so far. Leeches no longer exhibit individual behavior. Even when not feeding, they move as a collective. They consume everything they offer with remarkable efficiency. April 3rd, 1978. An employee has stumbled into my experiments. Can a human be eat to be a food source? How will the leeches respond? June 3rd, 1978. A day worthy of commemoration. Today they began to mimic me. Surely they recognize their father. Wonderful children. No one will ever take you away. So Marcus started viewing the leeches as his own children. That's interesting. It's full of poisonous gas, so the safety lock has been activated. Well, guess what I got? If you guess something to undo that, you'd be correct, actually. It appears to be a device for pumping gas into the room next door. The device is empty right now. Well, let me examine this. A small tank containing a chemical agent that can be used to sterilize rooms contaminated by a virus. Well, guess what I'm going to use? Virus getaway. There you go. Less poison or something like that. Time for things to go terribly, 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 terribly wrong. Everyone knows it's gonna go terribly, terribly wrong as soon as I pick this up. Oh, hey, that's kind of a cool effect. The audio is muted because we're inside a glass tube and the camera's outside. It appears to be a device for injecting gas into the room. Give me the breeding room key. Yes. Hey, everyone's waking up. Oh, there's a zombie on the ground, right? That's a little bit uncomfortably close, sir. Uh, I should have saved. I would have been okay because I was about to heal as soon as I got grabbed once, but I got double grabbed. Oh, well. To be fair, I'll be back where I was. Like, but Because I'm not reading and I know what exactly what I'm doing, it'll be a jiffy. Zero. Okay. I just hope I have the perfect run with Rebecca again, because if I do, then my job is easy. If I don't, then my job becomes a lot harder. Continue. You are entering an insane world. You're not wrong. Now, can I do this as a really fast Rebecca again? Let's leave this behind. Okay. Unfortunately, I do have to do this bit again, but, you know, it's whatever. It's two rooms. For the mixing set, yeah. 
Now switch this and combine this with that to make the blue leech. And if I'm fast enough, I can pick up these two things. Green herb. Red herb. And now I use the blue leech. And go on through. And we're good. See, that went well. Now, combine the two herbs. And let's pick up what we can. Starting with you, story event. Pick up some coil, which we're probably gonna need for something, which I still haven't found the use for that yet. File, which tells us that the guy graduated years ago. We suspect that his grandson's doing something here. Okay, pick up the handgun. Ammo. I should clarify, I'm not picking up another handgun. No, right through here. And through the other side, through these tangly fingers, we find... I'll just say this. Leechmen are a lot harder on hard difficulty in Resident Evil Zero than I remember them being. I feel like when in the past... In fact, I know I have it recorded so I can reabsorb my footage to see if it's as easy as I remember it being, but... I feel like most of them would just take three Molotov cocktails, and while they did a lot of damage, I don't recall them doing this much damage. Maybe I'm just mistaken, though. Still, going on out. Now time to avoid this one. I somehow avoided that, which makes me happy. And good. Okay, we're almost basically back to where we were. Billy just needs to do a couple things, then we're caught up. I'm not going to save because I'm a fool. Let's not do that yet. Let's first send this over. I like to send over a leech. But in the end, don't we all want leeches? <laughs> now send that back on over. Wait on the other side, and guess who's there, ready to pick it up? Billy Cohen. Billy decides, yes, he does, in fact, want a green leech to be added to his collection, which is what he just did. There it goes. Now, with this magical green leech I've obtained, I can, in fact, insert it into here. That's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's the second hope. This first zombie, I'm not sure how well you can actually avoid it, but I'm gonna try my best. Uh. Give it a gold stomp on the head. Pick up this agent I need. Now if I'm really fast, I can get out of the next room pretty A-OK. -okay. I could think about healing right now, because I'm on the lower yeah, you know, live life on the edge. Use. By edge, I mean heal myself. That's the opposite of what that would probably mean in this instance. But hey, whatever. I'm also going to do something really stupid. That's probably not anything new. There is a document I know I missed, which I am going to stupidly try and go out of my way to go. There's a leechman in the room with a document, and this is probably going to get me to lose like half my health right now just to pick up a goddamn document, but... I'm a fucking completionist. If I know that document's there, I'm gonna fucking pick up that piece of paper. You can be certain. I'm gonna totally regret this. I'm gonna totally regret this. Yeah, this isn't right. All oh, right, okay, this is right. I got confused just for a second, but I get it now. It's in here that I need to be careful. Leechmen can't—they can't be like bander snatches and. Code Veronica, like whatever their name was, they used their arms to lift themselves off poles. Oh, hi! Lovely to see you here! Didn't know you came around these parts so often there, leech man. Here's the document. Lavatory Manager's Diary. Today, under Director Marcus's orders, I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his children's growth. But the director is a loner. He isn't married, and he sure doesn't have any children. What did he mean? Well, I think we already know the answer to that one. Time to get mauled. 
Ow, speaking of which. Yeah, this was definitely probably not worth it. But also completely worth it at the same time. I did all that for a diary. I probably lost probably half my health. I'm not clutching my side yet, so that's a good sign. Yep, about half. Let's go. If I had just remembered that was there originally, I wouldn't have had to do that. Okay. Oh. Well, that makes things easier in the long run. Shelf is filled with various lab equipment. Everything looks to be well used. Lab da 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 da. Basically, tell me that the combination is eight one or one eight, depending if red or blue goes first. Now, inject this here. Let's go. Now, if I'm really fast, I can get out of here before trouble comes rolling. Give me that breathing room key. I know where it goes, too, so that's good. Okay. Well, that went better than expected. Now, the breathing room key, I assume, goes to one of the two doors around this area. You, maybe? Was this room always open? What was in this room? Why did I not remember this room? Oh, right, it was this room. Okay, now I remember it. <clears throat> Which means there's only one place this key could actually be used. Use the breathing room key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away. I feel like... I'm about to step into a terrible, terrible, terrible death trap, and I'm kind of concerned because I think I remember what this room is. Oh no. We'll get back to this. Hey, Rebecca. You know, you have a few extra saves around here. What? Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Why is there... What happened? Oh, a zombie must have awoken and attacked Rebecca, the one that was standing over here. Because I was like, there was not a dead body there before. Rebecca's AI must have kicked in because it said it was in attack mode. Yeah, she she used five bullets. She must have gotten a headshot because she didn't waste too much ammo. Record the data. Yes. Okay, I'll write that. I probably shouldn't because there's some things I could use for that save file. No, whatever. Let's save over there. And yeah. Okay, now with the save out of the way, I'm a little bit concerned about this. Okay, it's the best I'm gonna manage to do here. It's a room full of cages. What could possibly go wrong is really the question. A number of broken cages lie stacked up. There all be bare traces of being, having been smashed open from the inside. Cool. Dry blood works for me. Number broken case I stacked up. Yep. God fucking dang it. Immediately gets hit by it. Okay. Okay, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, even though I did just say it, in case I do get killed. Okay, good, I, I'm fine. One of them's dead. Yep. There's also a note here. Hunters do hunter things. B.O.W. Report. Research to date has shown that when the progenitor virus is administered to living organisms, violent cellular changes cause a breakdown in the system. Furthermore, no satisfactory method has been found to control the organisms for use as weapons. 
Clearly, greater coordination at the cellular level is essential to enable further growth. I conduct a number of experiments in an effort to find a breakthrough. This is my report. Insecta. Perhaps because these ancient animals have been genetically stable for millennia, when administered with a progenitor virus, they exhibit only explosive high-energy growth and increased aggressiveness. It is extremely difficult to envision using them as B.O.W. Amphibia. Injecting a frog with a virus results in an increase in leaping power and an abnormal tongue growth. However, no change in mental ability as was observed. Furthermore, an abnormal appetite resulted in the test subject randomly attacking all moving objects. Usefulness for B.O.W. is limited. Mammalia. The progenitor virus was merged with monkey cellular DNA, resulting in increased fertility. The resulting yun exhibited improved aggressive and some increased mental capacity. As a side note, visual power was lost, but this was offset by an improvement in hearing ability. However, they were unsatisfactory as weapons. No, dear. It does seem that no progress can be made without making humans the base organism. BLW report. The iron grill has been ripped out. Whatever did this must have been frightfully strong. I wonder what did it. It's not like there's two dead hunters sitting right next to you. Now inside here we find a dial. Don't touch that dial! <laughs> oh. The cage is rusted very badly. There's a patch of dried blood on the bottom. Bleh, bleh. Still though, let's see if we can cross to the other side. If one must cross over, which I'm going to try and do right now because I need to pass the dial on to Rebecca, who then has to go by the other leech person. Excuse me. <laughs> Here's my hope. Put the dial right into here. And that'd be you. No, actually, you don't use it. You have to look at this. Send something to the reference room. Here we go. Send this over. And right to the shoot it goes. Switch back over to Rebecca, who is then going to pick this up. Yep, gets the dial. Every time. Shuts the door on all puns. I would make further more from that. Okay, so I did run out of those. I, you know what? I'm going to send Billy a goddamn healing aid. Billy really needs it. Send it on over. Okay. Just make sure Billy gets it. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I switched to Billy. Use. Oh, thank god I switched to Billy. That's all I can say to this. <laughs> yep. There we go. Let's switch over. Gotta switch on forward. Now let's hope I can avoid this leechman A-OK -okay and be fine. No! I should have avoided that. I really should have avoided that. It's gonna make my life a lot harder because now I'm gonna throw it back there where it's still in my way. Okay. There's a dice turning in a combination. It's missing a part in a dial. Guess what I got? Dial. Use. The device is working again. Enter a combination? Yes. One. Eight. Please enter the oh. Wait, there's three digits? Uh oh. Okay, I think I have it. The combination is what was it? It was four first. Four. 
after four was two. Then what? Wait, no, I did this wrong. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Then it was eight. Then it was one. This doesn't seem to be the right combination. And a combination? Yes. Okay, I could look at the document, but I'm in a really tricky position right now, so I need to do this as fast as I possibly can. Okay, would the combination be... Four... Eight... Two... One. That's not it. There's only a certain number of combinations this could be. I could look at my document, but I'm really afraid I'm gonna get hit by the leechman, so I'm trying to avoid this. <clears throat> Let's see. I know it was four that was doubled to become eight. I think it might have been four, eight, one, two. It's not it either. The default numbers were four and two. Remember that. Four. Two, one, eight. That wasn't either. Okay, let me read my do goddamn documents. Okay. That's not it. I'm looking for... That would be OW reports, and that's not it either. It's uh, leech growth records. Four. Eight. Two, one. Oh wait, that, that's we lost two. Oh, one. Okay, let's see. Mister into four leeches. Double their numbers, so that would be eight. Four, eight. Okay, it's four, eight, six, three. That would be it. Four, eight, six, three. I got confused, but now I understand it. Four. I did that wrong. I like how the leech man's just staying there as I do this puzzle. Four. Eight. Six. Three. There we go. The door's now unlocked. And get out of there for the leech man could become more of a problem. We go. Now this is more like it. Billy here. Billy, I found an aerial cable car. We can get out of this place. Good. Wait there. I'm coming. Roger. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Out. Okay. But wait. How am I supposed to get up there if I don't have the goddamn hook shot? There's a lever here. Pull it, I guess. Okay. Ugh, that makes it possible to get over here. Also shiny here. What is this shiny? We take the output red coil. Yeah, sure. I go up, climb the ladder, but of course. Now, combine this with that. No, don't do it like that. Okay, let's switch over to Billy. He's just having a joyous time, don't mind him. Is there anything else I need in here? It's like something to drop. Nope, I think I got everything. Except maybe we look at this. The zinc is old and rusty, it's also covered in filth. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, let's go this way then.
Yeah, I, I do like how uh, they did tell them that there was a cable car, but they didn't even mention remotely where it was, so Billy wouldn't even know. Of course, we the player know, and not, anyways, regardless. Resident Evil Zero seems to have this thing where it's almost like there is a movie. You're, you're supposed to be a person in the movie that for some reason the characters know things, the only you see or something. Come on. Roger. Okay, now what did I drop here again? I forget what this was. Molotov cocktails, sure, why not? It's locked, you can't open it. Oh wait, I, I did drop something which I need. The grappling hook. Okay, I'll, give me a second, Rebecca. Grappling hook. Thankfully, I still got the grappling hook on hand, so... It's so weird to see Billy and Rebecca together again, because it's been such a long period of time since they've actually been together again. Oh, wait, not that way. Excuse me, zombie. <laughs> All the doors. Now the grappling hook. There it is. That was easy to find. Put it there. And let's continue. Going on over and across and across. Someone's asking me about what I think about Billy and Rebecca's relationship. I'll talk more about that later. Now, ah, after a little bit of backtracking, we got the good old hookshot again. On the bright side, I would have needed to get the hookshot anyway, so now I feel a little better about having left it behind before. Mm -hmm. What does Rebecca's inventory look like right now? Like she's got a spare slot. Um, because I'm probably gonna need to pick up some items in there. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Okay, that's actually not what I meant Come to on. do. Yeah. Let's go through here. What can I take of Billy's? All tough cocktails, that's an easy one. Ah. There I go. Switch back over to Billy and let's go on down. Though I guess Billy, once he goes through, can probably unlock the door. At least one can hope. On the bottom side, let's use the hook. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> she scared me because I thought I left her upstairs. <laughs> oh, dumb moments. But still, time to grapple hook our way up here. Use. I keep on saying grapple hook, that's a hook shot. On the top side, we're gonna find... I can finally drop this goddamn hook shot. Okay, what is actually in here? Let's investigate. Oh, for start with shotgun shells. That's never a bad thing to have more of. Do I need to reload? I probably do. Yes, I do. Anything else? This machine regulates power input and output. You can use this to get the cable car moving. Ooh, I think I know where that's gonna go. Okay, I should probably unlock this door. The door is now unlocked. Ah, let's go on up. If one must go up, let's roll. Now, we're actually almost to the final location of Resident Evil Zero, which I'm happy about. There's a few fun little references there. Rebecca's gotta catch up with Billy. Hi, Billy. Oh, the door's just open now. Okay, that works. So, let's put, maybe not that in yet, this. And the other half. Let's put in this power regulator. And thus the cable car is turned on. That's always a good sign. Follow me. With that, I'm also going to pick up the ink ribbons. Give me those ink ribbons. Might as well save while I'm in the neighborhood. Ah, just to make sure nothing else terrible happens. Record the data? Yes. Right there. 
And we good. Works for me. Um, should I? Yeah, I'll carry them for the time being, like, because I got an extra inventory slot and it should be fine besides that. Ah, let's go. Climb down the ladder? Yeah. We got a train car to watch. Let's go. Let's hop aboard the merry go train. Oh wait, she has the Molotov cocktails. Well, this is a lucky turn of events. God damn, okay. Go over that way. Throw more fire! Ah, after we're done having fun with leechmen. Is that enough to kill? That's enough to kill in this case. Ah, oh, that could have turned out a lot worse. Could turn out a lot better though. Oh, I'm in danger. Time to use this. Uh, supplies are low again, and Billy's gone. Well, Rebecca's still okay, so let's move on forward. There's no power going to the cable car. Something must have gone wrong with the power regulator. Well, let's go investigate that then. I like how that leech had a different theme than the other ones, because it's a goddamn scripted leech that just appears during a cutscene. <clears throat> With this end done, it's time to activate this again, I guess. No, what, what's on the floor? Oh, they were knocked out. Okay, I was confused for a second. Wow, so there's no there's leeches in here. Use. And thus power returns. Leeches are being so motionless. Usually they kind of move around. In this case, they're just being easy targets to step on top of. Hmm, crunch under my shoes. Just how I like it. Now then. Is there anything else to observe with all these computer monitors? Probably not. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, we golden. The trolley car is now available. And now time to step into the world of good old Resident Evil 2, of all things. Back on down. I'm ready. And the trolley is available. Hip hip hooray. That looks kind of nice in here. It's just a zombie sitting there waiting for a good old time. What is this? Oh, is that a magnum? I will take the magnum, obviously. Who would ignore the magnum, really? Outside of the rocket launcher, it's like one of the strongest Resident Evil guns, and usually strongest gun games anyway, but, you know, Resident Evil. There's a lever there. Is there a lever on the other side as well? Just figuring out the layout. Start the cable car? Not yet. What's on the other side? Another start the cable car? No? Okay, it's for going back. I get it. Gotta go one way and then the other. Let's go forward then. waiting for that zombie to get up. Laboratory complete. Well, I thank you, Achievement, for letting me know. <clears throat> okay. Now, what do my pockets have currently? 
I'll go back for those two green herbs in a little bit. Hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. There's a green door. Will this door open? I'm gonna check it. Nope, it's locked. It's locked from the other side, even. We'll get back to you. I'm gonna go up here for the moment. Oh, there's a door right over there. Sure. Now, this area, which we're about to enter into, may seem a tad familiar. Will this door be open? Oh, it is open. That's good. Okay. Some concerns I have, but I think we might be fine. Fortunately, this latch is closed. It's tightly sealed. I mean, I guess I'm already carrying ink ribbons, so it's a few more. Yep, monitor equipment, equipment site. There's no need to mess around with it. I, I want to pick up the ink ribbons. God damn, I want to pick up the goddamn ink ribbons. Do not record the data. I'm here for those got, there they are. Ink ribbons, there we go. I'll save my game in a second. There's a few things to pick up. There's a map of the factory. Fun. After the map, there are some hanging bullets right there. Hanging ammo is never a bad thing to have too much of. It's a control panel. There's a keyhole. But no key. At least yet. Do I have a key? No. Okay. I will not save my game quite yet. I'll hold out for a little bit. Oh, for state spray. I almost didn't even see that. The cabinet door is open. There's nothing left inside the cabinet. How about these construction helmets? Some worker helmets. Well, now we know. I'm not done yet, though. Let's head on back. It's a nice little elevator. I gotta call something, so it makes sense, I guess, that this is here. Austin, you got a key. Let's go through here. So many places to cross through. It's so very quiet. Well, no way to go but forward. If you don't recognize these last few areas I've been in, they're from Resident Evil 2. You end up in an area from Resident Evil 2 for some reason. Even though geologically that doesn't make much sense, because Raccoon City's police department's like in the middle of the city. How the fuck did a troll that? I mean, I guess it was underground, but that'd be a long ways. Factory key. That's what I need. Something is being displayed. A giant humanoid is suspended in bioorganic fluid inside a capsule. Well, good thing that thing's never getting out. <laughs> oh. Fucking hunter! The way the hunter jump did make me surprised. Okay, get the fuck out of here before I get, like, dying or something. The hunter sliding did surprise me. I, kinda, I knew that something was going to happen, but I was not really expecting that for some reason. Just did a little slide kick into the scene. Anyways, let's go on up. Here we be. Furthermore, and a lot more to see. Can insert the key here for a second. It's a control panel. There's a keyhole, which is obviously for this factory key. Let's examine it even. The tag reads you, like you and me, regardless. Mm -hmm. Use the key. new platform. The up key has been inserted. Now the turntable should move. Oh, that's the up key. <laughs> I get it. U stands for up. Yep. Use uh, examine all that fun stuff. Then I'll use the goddamn typewriter. Record data? I will. I was waiting to do and pick up the key I need before I decide to save. I'll save there. And good old successful save files. Now, should I pick up the green herbs? 
Ah, uh, now I'll come back for them some other time. There is a door next to them that'll be unlocked, so that should be fine. Okay, we got a good old elevator set right here as stormy skies or something. <clears throat> there's a lever there, but I'm not gonna activate that quite yet. I'm just gonna look around and see if there's anything I want to, to do or anything else on side this platform. The answer to my questionnaire is no, there's not really anything I really want. In fact, why do I not have a weapon equipped? Seems like a big oversight on my part. <laughs> Right, it's because I remember why they didn't have a weapon equipped. Yep, that is ammo. I meant to combine it with my gun. Okay. With the ammo and the one healing item I have on hand right now, let's hope this is enough to continue on to the next bit. Let's press the switch and see what we have in store. If I can interact with it. Lower the turntable? Sure. Going down. Or no slouch. Now it's time for another familiar location from Resident Evil 2. This is totally not a familiar sight. And this totally here is also not a familiar sight. The door reads security room. There's no need to search this place. Sure. There's no need to search this place. Well, that's that. Let's go this way then. Oop. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right, just be careful. I never saw him again. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Enrico there. I'm happy you die in Resident Evil Remake 1, whatever. Still though, you've already searched this area, you don't say. Here's the elevator key. Fucking Rico goes burns in a fire, that's all I care. You've already searched the area. Yeah, okay. That's one belief, I guess. I don't believe it, but he, she believes it, so whatever. Oh. Right. I remember now. That's a lot of rubble. It's not working right now. The device looks like it's used to activate the elevator. There's a keyhole. Well, we do have a key, so might as well use it. Because I like to examine objects before I use it. Here's a key. Yeah, yeah. And now let's insert the key into the hole. The elevator has been activated. Oh boy.
Prototype and got an upgrade. So this is Proto Tyrant. He looks a lot creepier than he did originally in Zero. His model got a huge upgrade. Oh boy, though. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Ow. Yeah, thanks, Tyrant. I'll get up in a second. No worries about me. Yep, ow. I expected that one. Oh. Two would kill. Good job, Proto Tyrant. I think I should just unload it on you more. Hopefully, the game's nice with a checkpoint here. If it's not, it's okay. I got a save point a little bit ago. Resident Evil. Yeah, it's gonna be a save point. Zero. It's fine. It's just a cutscene you skip through, basically. And then we get the Proto Tyrant. It's dark and silent in these hills, but you can still feel your heartbeat. Well, that's one way to word it. Okay. Right, I was on low health, that's why it took me two hits to die. So if I get hit once next time, in order to heal up to the second time, I, didn't, I forgot to check my health. I forgot, for some reason, I forgot I wasn't on full health for some weird reason, even though even right now I'm on lower caution. Okay, since I know what the next enemy is going to be, equip you. And let's get ready for Prototype Tyrant. Or Proto Tyrant. Right, I just press it. I had a German was like, wait, where'd the key go? But then I remembered, wait, the key is down there, and we already used the key that we needed to use. Skateboard, anyways, through for us coming down here. Now it's me and Rico, and tell Enrico to go fuck himself or something. I'm just kidding in that case. I don't actually hate Enrico that much. I'm just not very fond of him. Hate is a strong word for it. Elevator key. Going from there and moving forward. <laughs> On to the other side. The device looks like it's used to activate the elevator. That's a keyhole, which means uh, let's put this right here. Which does not work, because that's not the right angle. Okay, turn my head around. Now let's use the key. And skip on through. Get away from this, whatever, ow, I still got hit by it, even though I'm kind of dodged, kind of. I'm going to risk it stupidly, because I feel like that only got the back end of that. I got out of the way of that one. Oh, oh, I was about to... I, you know what? If I get hit once by anything, you goddamn heal. Okay. Because the health wasn't on danger quite yet. And again, Pro Tyrant just love his leap attacks. Evil. Zero. Okay. I've got faith in myself. This time, I was hoping that maybe I just got a little bit of a scratch, but I guess maybe just getting the backhand of his backhand was enough. It's dark and silent, but you can still hear your heartbeat. Or feel, not hear. Feel your heartbeat. Feel it. Pump, 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 around your chest. Now, I actually really like Prototype Tyrants. It's, it's not really a redesign, but he looks a lot cooler now than he did originally. I don't know. I don't exactly know what they changed. It's just he's striking me a lot more than he ever has struck me. Maybe it's deeper red, creepier face. I don't know. Something about it makes it look a lot creepier than it used to look. That's just a visual thing, but you know. Well, it's going down. And if this one healing item isn't enough, there's some green herbs in the other room. Also, I need to remember I can skip these cutscenes. There's no need to watch any goddamn cutscenes. This time, when I, after I get hit once, make sure to heal. Also, I should make sure to equip the Magnum before the match even begins. Of course, just like any Tyrant, its weak point is its heart. Gotta open its heart for you. Let me get this one. Yes, I will take the key. And yes, I lose the key on the elevator and I get attacked by a Tyrant. Because that's just what happens. Rebecca's got this. She's got this in the bag. The bag of tricks. Now, let me... Just associate. There we go. Let's use the key. 
And I'll wait for Pro Tyrant to say hi. When he does that, that probably means I got a big critical hit on him. Ow. Well, that must have hurt. Not what I meant to press, but on the right, right side. Uh oh. Um, use that healing item of mine. Hopefully, I can get out of here in like two splits in a second. Drop it. Ow. Punch me. Oh, I didn't expect the second attack hand for some reason. Uh-oh. Saw that one coming a mile away. Hi, Proto Tyrant! Uh-oh. I need to dodge these more often. I'm probably on super low health right now because this thing's attacks I can't imagine being a catwalk. Uh-oh. Well, time to go to this gun and get out of the way of its attack. Ow. <laughs> Still loops me over for a double kick. I should pick up those green herbs in the other room I have. I probably have enough ammo to defeat it. The problem is outliving it. Resident Evil Zero. I do. There are two green herbs in the other room, though, which I'm going to take complete advantage of. I was just saving them, but if the proto tyrant's right there, might as well do your magic with it. Go straight on in to kill it. It's dark and silent. But you can still feel your heartbeat. There you go. Now, I'm gonna pick up the two green herbs. Good old pick them up for the road. I'll remember if I'm lower caution, the boss can attack you in such a way that'll kill you anyway. So yeah, that's good to know. I'm going to pick up these two green herbs and combine them for the moment. I think I got the right idea here. And hopefully I got enough to... I mean, I, I have enough ammo to beat the boss. I got like something like 90 handgun bullets with the upgraded handgun. The one that has more chance of hitting a weak point, which in this case would be the heart, obviously. Oh, wait. Is there something? Oh, right. I, I think I know what I need to do. Let's say use, combine with this green herb. There we go. My life is okay. I will start off by using the Magnum. While it's good to save Magnum rounds for tough boss encounters, this would kind of be that. And I've got more Magnum rounds back at the place whenever I need to pull up the Magnum again. Let's go on through. While Proto Tyrant does Proto Tyrant things, by which I mean he stomps around, does his little swiping attack, and shivers. He kind of, uh, this tyrant kind of reminds me of the Iron Maiden from Resident Evil 4 because of how it shakes and quivers and obviously the gray skin. Uh, originally in Resident Evil 4's beta conceptualization stage, I do know that they were originally planning to have it so that tyrants were like mass produced in this cannibalistic uh, type, which I guess might have been what regenerators came from, but whatever. They always remind me a little bit of each other. It's because they're just gray, dull skinned creatures, I think, that are kind of tall and kind of zombie like, but not exactly. They're different in how they appear, though. The face, especially. And the heart. Now let's pick this up. Oh, I got no room for this. Well, time to drop this here. And pick up a key. There I go. I'll pick these back up if I win the boss battle this time. Uh, which hopefully I do. It's a tricky, tricky situation, but I think I can do okay here. Let's put the key in. No, not there. This should be the right angle. I say as I stuff my face right into that button. There we go. Time for us to get ambushed, quote unquote, by this tyrant beast. Pro tyrant doing its best. I got away before it does some attack. Staying on its backside is definitely the best strategy so far. <laughs> Still got it covered around like a cushion there. Get back up, Rebecca. Now use this. Uh oh. 
That's gonna use its no, so it doesn't have a back slap to that. Oh. <clears throat> Cornered. Quite the wrong. Eh. Was it gonna do a double slight? Nope. Oh, but I was gonna do that one. If you're holding your side, I will think about using the healing that depending on how. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I guess I'll use it. I feel like I'm not gonna win this time. Which is a shame. It's hard to attack that attack. It's got a really huge hit radius. Your heart's obviously your weak points to turn towards me. Uh oh. <clears throat> time to equip this and combine ammo. So I got a few more rounds in before I have to reload. <laughs> Hi, sir. Oh, you're dead. Well, that's good. Well, that was actually the battle to win it. Well, Pro Tyrant's down for the count. Let's. Oh, it closed off the doors. I can't get my fucking ink ribbons. Okay, whatever. Let's go this way. Well, here's the elevator. Now, I do kind of recall where Billy is. Select a floor. I'm gonna go to floor one first, though. Actually, I should wait to go here when I have Billy with me. You'll see why once you figure out where this elevator goes to. It's gonna probably let me out. No, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay go to floor four. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge. Dear. Also, one second. Actually, you know what? I'll hold out. Let's go through this door. Right through the door. Well, Billy's in an unfortunate way. We'll go on to the next area. Billy Cohen, having his fun, getting dragged around by whatever the fuck's under the water in his fair time. Okay, you know what? Uh, my pockets are pretty... No, actually, no, my pockets got empty because of the boss fight, right? I'll take this until I think I don't need it anymore for some reason. Okay, anything else? Negatory, Captain. We'll continue on our way to try and rescue Billy. There is a door back here. In fact, there is something back here. Let me get the more handgun bullets. Oh, there's an ink ribbon set up here. That works fine and well for me. I'll pick up the ink ribbons. Give me what I need. I shall take the ink ribbons and I shall save my game right here. Let's give it a second. Now. I will save here just so we have the Proto Tyrant boss fight in our save file. It's always nice to have them. I like the Proto Tyrant as bosses personally. Still, though, in the control room. Now, before we move on and go on to the final location of Resident Evil Zero, fun and fun and fun, I am going to put on the two minute.